the last lesson, you heard John demonstrate the STAR strategy to tell a story about a time he failed. You should use this same strategy to tell a story about a past accomplishment you're proud of. A hiring manager asks you this question to find out what's important to you in life. You don't have to talk about an accomplishment from your past work experience. You can talk about an experience from your personal life, from school, from volunteer work, whatever you feel is important. This is a great time to use one of your stories from the Enjoyable Accomplishments Journal you started back in course number one. Remember to highlight in your response what makes this one of your proudest accomplishments. Let's hear what John comes up with. When I was working on my bachelor's degree, I became really interested in personal health and fitness. I had always been into sports and athletics and found myself playing soccer or going on runs whenever I had the chance. In Michigan, I live near a neighborhood where a lot of kids grew up in economically disadvantaged homes. I wanted to help out in some way. I talked with some people that I played soccer with on the weekends about what we might do, and that's when I came up with an idea. How great would it be to have an after-school program for kids to play organized sports and learn from college students? In some way, we could be role models for the kids and at the same time teach some valuable lessons about teamwork, respect, perseverance, and of course, personal health. I was studying business admin at the time. Using things I'd learned from my classes, I developed an action plan with short-term and long-term goals. Uh, funding mechanisms and staffing plans, within a month, I was able to put the plan into action. I pitched the idea, lined up some school donors, and managed to procure a small grant. And with that funding, we were able to establish an after-school youth sports league for 50 kids. We played different sports as the seasons changed, and we had volunteer college students for coaches and referees. It was an incredible experience to see how happy the kids were running around, getting some exercise, learning about health. The volunteers were glad to give back to the community too. What are you most proud of? So I saw these kids living in a poor neighborhood and didn't feel right not doing something. I've been fortunate in life, but here these kids just by luck of the draw, didn't seem to have a lot of chances. I felt I should somehow share my good fortune, and I wanted to help. What makes me proudest is having to start with an idea, a good idea, and then going through the process of moving that idea from concept to development to reality. It was like, wow, I can change the world for the better. And I was able to take the lessons from the classroom and apply them to real life. I learned a ton about project management, about proper planning, realistic design, and time management. I learned about getting support for an idea, selling that idea, and raising money to support it. I also gained insight into creating and managing budgets. We bought equipment for the kids, paid for time on the playing field, ran marketing campaigns for our sports leagues, and we even hired a part-time assistant to help out with the scheduling and to run the phones when we needed that. I put together staffing plans, and remember, these were volunteers. Volunteer referees, volunteer coaches. I learned a lot about motivating team members because volunteers aren't working for money. They've got schedules, emergencies. It's a different world managing volunteers. But I think overall, it was the experience of leadership, of taking initiative, of persevering and sticking with a project even when others were cynical about it. Seeing those kids having fun and knowing that even though it might have been a small thing, what we were doing was making a big difference in their lives. And that's what I'm really proud about. That's what means the most to me, even to this day. I hope you can see the situation target action structure clearly enough. But the results and what John takes away from the experience are what would really impress a hiring manager. You get a feeling for John as a person you understand how helping others is important to him. Remember, he is interviewing for a key role in a company that helps people live better lives. So his story should resonate well with the hiring manager. I want to draw your attention to some of the language John uses. Listen to his opening statement again. When I was working on my bachelor's degree, I became really interested in personal health and fitness. I had always been into sports and athletics and found myself playing soccer or going on runs whenever I had the chance. Notice his use of tenses here. 
This is a sophisticated use of the English past tenses. Was working is the past progressive and describes something John was doing, an ongoing activity in the past. Then, while that activity was ongoing, John became interested. He uses the simple past to position his becoming interested as a point in the past during the process. English often uses the past progressive to describe an activity in the background. Something was happening in the past. Then the speaker uses the simple past to present another activity in the foreground. Something else happened. So while John was working on his bachelor's degree, he became interested in personal health and fitness. Now listen to how he continues. I had always been into sports and athletics and found myself playing soccer or going on runs whenever I had the chance. Do you recognize the tense sequences that John uses? It's the past perfect with the simple past. John uses the past perfect to emphasize that his love of sports and athletics dates back to his childhood, well before the time he was at Michigan. Then he shifts to the simple past, I found myself, to reposition the story to his time at Michigan. John demonstrates this same sophisticated use of the past tense a bit later when he says, I was studying business admin at the time. Using things I'd learned from my classes, I developed an action plan with short-term and long-term goals. Uh, funding mechanisms and staffing plans. Notice the three past forms he uses. The past progressive in was studying, the past perfect in had learned, and the simple past in developed. John uses was studying to position his studies at Michigan as background action in the past. Then he refers to things I'd learned. That's a contracted form of things I had learned. He uses the past perfect to make it clear that his classroom lessons had come earlier and his developing an action plan, which he describes in the simple past, came later. This sophisticated combination of past progressive, past perfect, and simple past is typically used in telling a story. It might take some practice for you to master. I've included some practice activities after this lesson to help you out.